despite a push to bring back a Navy veteran, a native to Lombard, back from Afghanistan, where he was first taken hostage nearly two years ago. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza joins us now. Sabrina, the president spoke about this today. Well, tomorrow marks two years since suburban veteran Mark Furyk was taken by the Taliban and held kidnapped in Afghanistan. President Biden demanding for his release today, something his family has been fighting for, begging for, for years. I want to say to President Biden that you're well aware of my brother. You know my brother's situation. Are you doing every effort that you can to get my brother home like you would if he were your own brother? That was for her sister back in 2021 when the Biden administration withdrew from Afghanistan. Frerix didn't get to come home. His father spoke with us last year. It seems like the politicians don't get anything done unless it's last minute. Frerix was from Lombard. He was working as a civil engineer and contractor in Kabul on the job when he was kidnapped two years ago tomorrow. Today, President Biden released a statement reading, quote, the Taliban must immediately release Mark before it can expect any consideration of its aspirations for legitimacy. This is not negotiable. Getting him back. It's an ongoing saga. The Taliban wants a prisoner swap for the U.S. to exchange convicted drug lord Bashir Norzai in exchange. For Frerich's family, there's no price for a man who served his country and can't come home. When they give me that phone call and tell me that they found Mark and he's on a plane, you're going to go meet up with them. And I would give him the biggest hug when I see him. And I don't think I want to let go. The family mate awaits for that emotional reunion again tomorrow marks two years, a devastating anniversary of Mark's kidnapping. We're live in the Streetside studio. I'm Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.